things that you said Cause I wish you didn't mean it I'm under attack, running far, far away And I'd rather keep my distance from you You don't gotta lie to me to get through Push and pull me off into the deep And let's pretend that nothing ever happened on that night Yeah, I'm passionate Hi loves, welcome back to the channel. So I am doing somewhat of a makeover. Not really. I'm just actually um, adding some more gray to this room. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I just want to change the look up just a little bit. Bring out some more gray. Uh, as you can see, I have like the gray rug and um, one gray pillow. But I just want to add more. The actual bed underneath this, the pull-out trundle, has gray sheets, but I just have some gray pillows here. This is just stuff that I had around the house. Um, the laundry basket is gray for this room. And um, yeah, mostly everything else was white. So I do have a guest. I want to give you guys kind of like a full before. I kind of want some art for that wall right there. I have to look into that. Um, so yeah, this is like the what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna feature some sheets that were sent over to me from um California Design Den, and I actually have those sheets on my bed right now. Also went back and purchased um some sheets in white, but I have the pink ones on. So as you can see, I actually do like the company, and I'm not just you know shouting them out for fun. So yeah, like I actually like the sheets and I sleep on them so yeah I just I'm not I don't know I'm not feeling this like I love this room but it's like I just want something to change and I want it to kind of look not more simple but just different like I don't like the day bed area right now it's just some things that need to be worked on okay so I just wanted to give you guys a close-up of the extra sheets that I have and a little closer they're showing up like a beige because of this yellow lighting but they're actually white and gray like a pinstripe uh, type of deal going on so these are what I'm going to use I have the twin size along with the queen size so I'm going to switch to these um, I'm going to start with the twin bed first and then I'm going to transition Turn toward me and look so weak. I've never seen you with such tired. I actually started lifting twin beds up like this in college. Um, it was easier to make the dorm bed like this rather than trying to go and hop on the bed and do the corners and stuff. It's just been easier this way. So that's the way I stick to when it comes to twin Every size beds. We said we'd be, we just traded for a suit coat and a tie. I made an executive decision to put two pillows in one pillowcase. No one around, lay back and take your socks and shoes right off. That natural light is so damn polite, can make you feel just like you were young. Again. Oh.
Standing underneath the rose of tree. So now we're gonna move on to the queen bed. Okay, so before it gets dark, I want to go ahead and finish this up. I've already put the pillowcases on. Um, the pillow. See where the ocean meets the sky. Under our clothes, the fire grows. We are ready for this life of running wild. We're running wild. Underneath the rose of tree, I will see you where the ocean meets the sky. Under your toes. I love a jersey stretchy type of sheet but I also have to have like an admiration or a love for a crisp cotton sheet that just kind of falls into place. So I just wanted to give you all a view of the room in the actual daytime with the daylight and no lamps and stuff on. So it's really bright in here. Um, I used to take like a lot of selfies in here for my Instagram feed just because the room itself is really like bright and airy and nice and I just love it. So. As you can see, the TV and the sound bar is over here. Um, I do have two robes on the back of that door with the guests. Well, they can use it. I have hooks on that door so they can hang things, but also on the back of this door so they can hang things. It's actually a hoodie back there right now. Um, I made this art and I had it in my first apartment um, in my bedroom. But now I put it in here, which I thought about adding a black element to this room and doing that minimalist, like stark uh, black and white contrast, but I haven't committed to it. And if I do do it, it'll be in the winter time of next year um, or this year, rather. It'll be when the winter starts over, you know, later this year, 2020. But um, right now I just decided to do a soft gray, a cool gray, not a warm gray. <laughs> and you know do it like that so usually under there i would keep a throw but i think i'm gonna start keeping like maybe like some bedtime t-shirts or something um rolled up real nicely because sometimes guests forget pajamas and i think that'll be nice so i haven't committed to it yet and probably like um a cute personal display like as far as toothpaste toothbrush i um, mean i'll do one at a time when i do have guests so i might put that under there and then over here is the day bed and what I do like about the day bed as some people have mentioned the day bed can um, kind of double as a couch and I remember like years ago when I was in middle school that's what my grandma did during the day she's on her couch watching her shows in the morning and then in the afternoon she wants to take a nap pull them pillows back pull the covers back and you know take a nap and if she had company and guests we were sleeping on a day bed so it's actually um, very universal and I do like that this one has a trundle when I do have my siblings over um, and my nephew it's like four of them so two will be in the queen size bed and then one will be on the day bed 
and one will be on the trundle if they feel like pulling it out so and it's easy to move this little cube if they need more room which I usually just move it to that side of the bed and pull the trundle all the way out so it works okay over here I just have a full plant underneath there um, I do like the idea of having a full body mirror because your dress want to <laughs> your dress your guests want to you know see what their full fits are looking like too so that's pretty much the room these curtains were sent to me from nice town actually and it's already linked on my website and when you come into the bathroom it just looks like this I, I showed you this already but I wanted to show it in the daytime and I do use daytime light bulbs excuse my appearance <laughs> So it's really, really bright in this bathroom and in all the bathrooms. So you guys comment down below. Let me know what you think about the changes um, with the patterns and the furs, textures, uh, and yeah, with the grays added to the bedroom, the guest bedroom. for a dramatic effect. <laughs>